We're taking a closer look tonight at two controversial studies out that call into question what we've been told for years about cancer screening. The conventional wisdom, the mantra from the medical community, is that early detection saves lives by finding cancers before they spread. But researchers who looked at testing for two common cancers, breast and prostate, say many patients may be overdiagnosed, even misdiagnosed. Here's Dan Harris. They've been performed for years, but a new study says clinical breast examinations, where doctors or nurses use their hands to search for lumps, can lead to needless anxiety and also unnecessary expensive tests, including biopsies. The study found that out of 10,000 women tested in this way, only four cancers were found that a mammogram would have missed. Meanwhile, 219 women were told that they had cancer when they in fact did not. Dr. Joanne Elmore says women should keep this in mind as they decide whether to have clinical breast examinations. If you're going to a provider and they spend just 10 seconds per breast, that's not adequate. The other study out today is much more controversial. It deals with prostate cancer screening. The study estimates that nearly a million American men since 1986 have been treated for prostate tumors that may never have killed them or even caused symptoms. Critics say the problem with prostate screening tests is they can't distinguish between tumors that are life-threatening, the small minority, and those that may never do any harm. Seeing this study, one is tempted to conclude that, that you should stay away from early screening. Is that the right conclusion to reach? Uh, and that's absolutely the wrong conclusion to reach. Dr. Franklin Lowe says it may be true that some men are over-treated for prostate cancer, but that doesn't mean they shouldn't be screened. You should be screened because if you have cancer, you want to know about it when it's an early stage. And depending upon what type of cancer it is, how aggressive it is, then make a determination of what is the most appropriate treatment for you. Bottom line, doctors we spoke with today say you should still go for early screening, but you should know that these tests are not foolproof. Dan Harris, ABC News, New York.